A year ago now, I went to my local Warhammer store and I had an introductory game of Warcry and I absolutely loved it. So a month later for my birthday, I got Warcry Catacombs. And as you can see, it's still in its cellophane wrapper, so unopened. I've also got Tempest of Souls, the second edition Age of Sigma starter set, still unopened. And in December, I got White Dwarf issue 483 because it had the hobby bingo in it, which I stupidly thought 2023 is going to be the year that I could actually complete one. And this year's got playing as well as painting, which I was interested in. And at a quick glance, I saw that it has Warhammer Underworlds, which I've heard good things about, but never played. So recently, I got the starter set. And again, you can see it's in a cellophane wrapper unopened. So as many of you probably have the same thing, I've got a lot more than this that is unopened and basically just a big pile of shame or pile of opportunity as I've seen some people liking to call it. So in this video I'm going to explore a new underpainting technique or new to me in order to get these very quickly onto the tabletop and playable. So let me just get these assembled. Don't go anywhere, I'll be right back. Finally I've got them all assembled and that took a while so now in the painting I need to save as much time as possible and that's where this underpainting technique is going to come in. The first step is to prime the minis, and for that I'm doing a zenithal prime using spray cans. My method for this is to start with a matte black from underneath for the shaded areas. Then I follow this up with a mid grey from above at a roughly 45 degree angle. I find this helps to create a smoother gradient. Then to finish off, I spray from directly above with a light grey. And with that, the shadows and highlights are established with very little effort. When you do it, attach the mini to a stick or wear some gloves. I was just doing it like this to get in nice and close with the camera, but I didn't have any gloves on me. For the rest of the models, I actually used the GW spray handle. The next step is to emphasise the recess detail even more. And for this, I'm using Nuln Oil and just doing an all over wash. Once dried, if we compare it to a mini that hasn't had the wash, we can see that the recesses are more visible, even on the highlighted areas. I also think it has smoothed the transitions even more. Now let's dry brush on some matte white to really bring out the raised detail. I'm using a large dry brush, this speeds up the process. Use circular motions and go over the whole model. I think the results look great and will really help any subsequent painting. Just look how much difference that quick dry brush has made. And for those of you thinking it's no different to just doing a black prime over brushing of grey and then dry brushing of white, check this out. The one on the left is just over brushed and then dry brushed. The one on the right is the method I just showed you. Or slap chop first tim chop. The last stage of this underpainting is the base. And as I'm using texture paint, I'm counting it in with the underpainting. So the first step is to apply Astro Granite being careful when going around the feet or any parts close to or touching the base. Then once that's dry, the next step is to apply a shade or wash to the base. I'm using Agrax Earthshade as having a different colour or tone to the mini will make it look more intentional and closer to being a finished mini. Then I mixed up three parts matte white to two parts skeleton bone and one part uniform grey. This gives a greyish colour with a nice tone that again will help it be differentiated from the mini. Then using a small dry brush apply this all over the base. Finally, we finish off by painting the rim. You can use whatever colour you want, but I have gone for Mechanica Standard Grey. I think they look great, and now they are ready for battle. Let me know what you think. I can play some Warcry and Underworlds, and get some points in Hobby Bingo.
hope you found this video useful and if you did then please like and subscribe and if you'd like to further support the channel then check out my Patreon. There's regular giveaways, link in the description and I'll see you in the next one.